Oh, what is going on? Good morning, boys and girls, and happy campers. We're just hanging out here on the side of the river, getting cozy before we go smash some fish. It's a beautiful, crisp fall morning, and the fishing has been cracking off on all of these coastal rivers. We've had a couple of fun days out here already, and I think we're about to have a couple of fun more. Today should be real fishy. <laughs> things that you get to see when you're out there. We don't um, usually share river locations too often. Alright guys, so today we're kind of on the hunt for a diamond in the rough. Um, this river kind of takes a minute for the uh, steelhead to pop off. But we are on the hunt for steelhead today. We're going to have to wean through a bunch of coho. So sit back, relax, and pray that we get a steelhead. So what we're doing is the classic hucking hardware, throwing spinners. I got a number five blue and chrome blue fox on. I've got a real small black low pro swivel and um, I just stuck that onto my braid main line because I don't think the fish, fish. are going to be too finicky. Oh, a little one. Wow, that was right off the bat. Look at this yeah, Chris's, Chris's first cast right here. It's not crazy exciting. It's kind of small compared to what we're going to be getting. A, is it a big cutty? Oh, it's like a big cutty, doesn't it? Ooh, it is exciting. Look at the size of this cutthroat. Dude, that's a, that's a gorgeous, gorgeous. Dang! Wow, look at that beautiful fish. What a way to start the season right that's there. A, that's a sea run cutthroat trout. That's Chris's first cast. I'll go ahead and let Dude, Chris. Dude, that, that might be one of my Chris bigger. Show it off. That's probably one of my nicer uh, cutthroats and what a way to start the season right there. Let's get him back in. Look at the spots on top of him. They're just a really cool looking fish. Big pink stripe on the side. Looks like a buck to me with that uh, kind of hooky nose. He's just chilling in my hand right now, getting a little rest. That's just a gorgeous, wow. gorgeous trout. What a way to start the day. Well, <laughs> there she goes. Man, let's do it. This That was like a tiny fish compared to what we're gonna get. Watch this. Dude, that was like crank, crank, bingo. There's a fish. There you go. Right away, that was my first cast. Yeah. It's a red fish too. It's like a buck. All wrapped up. There it is. It's coming unwrapped. Let's get it over here onto this little bank. Woo that was a tail slap. Right? Fish almost swam right up onto the bank. Like a big buck. It just, it just popped the hook and all of that. Oops. It just popped the hook and all of that, and it's just got the line tied around it. I don't think that it's even actually hooked in its side. The hook was in its mouth just now, now for on, sure. Now it's on the line. But now it's just hooked on the line, wrapped around the fish. Yeah. Well, if he just swims away because this thing pops off, We'll be fine with that. We don't want to hurt this fish. But I think I should be able to get a hold of him. It's so wild that he's all wrapped up like this. There he goes. There he goes. So it, uh, hook was definitely in the fish's mouth. I don't know if you could see that when it was thrashing around right here, but I could see that it was in its mouth. And then in it spiraling all around, the hook popped out of the fish's mouth and then wrapped just around the line like this. I don't know exactly how it was wrapped because it was wrapped pretty tight. And this just cinched down around the outside of the fish. I was holding it right there in the middle. The hook wasn't in it. It was just tied to the center of the fish. You by, him. Like I basically did that. And was just holding the fish like that, not even, not even hooked at all <laughs> there for the end of that. 
totally wild. <laughs> that's why they call it a coho rodeo. All right, well, that's two casts. You know, dude, if we have one of those big, uh, big landing things, we'd actually be able to like pull our, oh, a net. If we had a net, we'd be able to like pull our fish up out of the water and check them out for a second, you know? Yeah, I have the big one. Fish. fish on. Chris is on right like that. Another coho. Another little roller. Coming over here too? All right. Come here, little guy. It's like a little seven pound coho. You know, they fight so hard, even though they're starting to darken up and get into spawn mode. They, uh, they smash these spinners like they got a vendetta against them or something. But uh, this is another nice uh, little buck. Probably around seven pounds or so, maybe eight. We're gonna get him in. Their girlfriend's gotta be down there somewhere. That's two bucks. So I'll bet you the next fish might be a hen. Chill out, and I'll let you go. Feisty. Nice little buck, little color on him. Good little fighter. Let's get him back. There we go. Spinners out. One more look at him. Yeah, there's number two. You know, we've been casting on the same rocks. So to change up the angle my spinner goes through the water, I'm gonna jump onto a different rock here. And, and sometimes those, the smallest little changes and where you're standing makes that lure spin in a total different spot. So maybe it'll come down the right line and uh, we'll hook up. I thought I was going too far to the bank. Another oh, cutty. Oh, another cutty. Well, you guys, I just hooked into another cutthroat trout. These sea run cutthroat trout are just gorgeous. So I'm gonna be real careful here. They say that you don't want to lip trout, you want to lip bass, but I'm just gonna hold him by his lip a little bit just to show him off. This is a hatchery fish. What a trip. This is not a cutthroat trout. It's a cut bow. So weird. It's a cut, this is a, this is a, a cut bow, which is a hybrid uh, cutthroat and rainbow trout. You can see it's got the cutthroat gills, but they're very, very light. And see all the rainbow spots on them? And it's a hatchery fish. So I don't know how it got over here in this system, but you can see right here, its fin's been clipped. Yeah, but what a beautiful, beautiful fish. Bye, buddy. <laughs> that was so bright red, bro. It's a big red one. Well, the camera just missed that because I didn't have it on. That makes sense. But I just hooked another coho. Hooked another coho. But it, it didn't feel right. It was so weird. So I, I just didn't set the hook good enough. That's what happened. I'll blame it on that. Seventh fish hooked right here, huh? Oh man, that was awesome. I think that was like my uh, fourth cast or something like that. I don't know, I think we've only taken half a dozen casts in this hole right here. And this day's only getting started. We're taking it. Wait, are you sure? Oh, it's happening. So where are you going? Straight through. <laughs> yep. Uh, drop off your pit, Chris went down. Sometimes you gotta make your own trail.
fish. Yep. Oh, he spit it right there. Oh, did you see it roll? No. Big fire truck, bro. Oh, well, there's one. Damn. Another buck. Yep. Yeah, it's a little guy. He's red. He's red also. Little baby coho. Not quite a baby, but beautiful little buck coho salmon. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw him back in the water and let him go. I just hooked another uh, buck a second ago. Bye, bud. So hooked another buck a second ago, so there should be two hens in here. Sausage Got to be at least one. Like, almost, I think all of the fish that we've caught today have been bucks. So, there's got to be some hens up in this river still. You guys who are experienced uh, steelhead and salmon anglers have probably heard the terms buck and hen a lot of times before. But a buck is a male fish, you know, like a male deer would be a buck. And a hen is a female fish, like a female chicken would be a hen. And the hen lays the eggs and the buck does the business. And the, uh, the male coho, when they get deep up into the river and they start to change colors, they get that real dark red color and then they form that gnarly beak on them and they just turn into almost a different kind of fish. Um, kind of like a sockeye or a humpy salmon that you'd see like up in Alaska. They get real big humps and real crazy beaks. The same thing starts to happen to the coho and, and to Chinook and stuff, but the coho it really happens more predominantly to. And um, you can see similar characteristics in steelhead or in trout, stuff like that, when the um, big trout go into breeding, like those, the, uh, those larger cutthroat that we caught earlier, they started to have a beak on them also. Um, if we get a hen, hopefully it'll be a nice silvery fish and it'll have that little pretty short nose on it and we can show off that so you can really see the difference. You guys have seen a couple bucks from us this morning already. God, it's a beautiful day out in the Northwest. Not cold, not hot, not raining, not foggy. Just right. But we're in kind of a sketchy little zone. I know this spot is very snaggy. Um, so we might lose a couple spinners, but that's the name of the game. Anyway, holy cow, look at this. This is super cool. Old tree. It's all broken off, all rotted out, but pretty much a cave. Hello. There's probably an animal living in there. Holy shit. <laughs> that leaf scared the crap out of me. I don't have a light on here, but I'd live in there if I was a river bum. I am kind of a river bum, but let's get casting. If we don't get anything out of here, we're turning the camera off. We're going home. We're out of here. <laughs> but if we do, we're back in it. All the uh, morale will be higher. I can go Not straight in the water. All right. New hole. First cast. There's a fish. There's a good one. Another buck? Wow, we're on a we're on a buck melee right now. I'm gonna post this up here. It's really hard. There's a, the smallest little island. Okay. You have to walk him down here. Ah, he's so deep in there. Nice buck. He put up a valiant effort, so we're gonna get him back in quick. I don't know where I can step, so I'm just gonna drape him over. Get him back in there. Come on. He's tired. There he goes. Bye, buddy. All right, just another buck. 
I wonder where those hens are at. But I want a big hen steelhead. Well, I decided to move from the side of the bridge that I was on over to this other side. Right as I was heading over here, Chris caught a fish. <coughs> then I packed up my gear. As I was walking across the bridge just now, hooked into another one. So hopefully we can get down there in time to check it out. Hey, look at that. Nice. And coho, big old fat belly. I think she still hasn't spawned yet, so we're gonna get her back in the water. Oh, gently let her let her rest up for a second. We got big old top fin. You can tell it's wild by this adipose back here. Clearly a wild fish, and uh, just a beauty. Let's get back in there. So beautiful, these spots. Tell it to coho because just the spots on the top of the tail. Goodbye. Nice. Oh man, gotta love that. But now I'm all wet. I guess I'm just gonna be wet. <laughs> Back up and make that fall again, dude. Chris and his non existent trail hunting. Whoa. Chris is all, trust me, if there's not a trail there, I'll find it. <laughs> Propel your body downward. Seems to work pretty good. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> Two seconds later, Chris is completely wrapped in blackberry vines. <laughs> Just propel yourself downward, dude. Fall with grace. Ah! Well, you know, you guys truly. I think the only thing that would make today any better would be if we could put a steelhead away or to catch a nice big fat chrome Chinook salmon. But um, when you're gonna come up to the river and do a little fishing and play around and me and Chris are trying to make videos for you guys, you know, so we're always trying to pump out content. We're like, where can we go fishing? What kind of adventure can we go on? And going up to the river um, and catching a whole bunch of coho salmon like how many times have we gone fishing where salmon was our target species and we couldn't catch very many of them um it's funny that this is a bycatch it almost feels like we're catching bluegill in the bass pond but here we are having a 15 salmon day i don't know we'll look at the counter i could be it There's could be higher could, could be a dozen could be 20. i i lost count a number of salmon ago which is uh, always going to be an awesome experience. There's not a lot of places in the world um, short of like Alaska that you can just stand there and cast lures and catch 15, 20 fish in a day. Um, so we're going to keep on throwing lures. We're definitely not done catching fish today, but um, it's been a lot of fun. It's, it's cool that our bycatch today is big, healthy coho salmon and awesome um, cutties. You know, yeah. that first, that very first fish of the day was that beautiful, beautiful cutthroat trout. That's like a trophy trout in a lot of places. Um, a lot of the other rivers, a lot of the other days we've been fishing where we're just out there throwing spinners for trout, catching that cutthroat, it just been thrilled. Having to be the first fish of the day and um, one of the smaller fish, I think the trout I caught was a little smaller, but re like relatively speaking, the smallest fish of the day because of how many salmon we're catching. That's just a, that's just a, um, a reason to smash the like button. Just looking at it.
See what happens. A little breezy. See if we can first cast it. goes nice quick easy release that's how I like to do it beautiful sea run cutthroat another one of these fish they're just so gorgeous really beautiful colors I'm gonna get them back in the water real quick just because these fish don't like to stay out of the water well, you guys, the nature of what we're doing is, you know, hitting small pockets up and down the river's edge to where we find kind of deep holes and find fish tucked into those deep holes. But what that causes is to us is for us to be moving a lot. So we'll come down to a pocket, we'll fish it, we'll throw lures in it for a little bit, maybe catch a couple of fish. Chris hooked two here, I caught two here. Um, that was the same story at the last hole. Chris caught two, I hooked two. Um, and it seems like after we blow a hole up a little bit, the fish die down for a little while. So we might go back to hit some of the holes we already fished, but we'll probably just continue to work our way down the river and see if we can't find another nice deep pocket that looks like it might hold some fish. So on to the next. But in the same with us moving all the time and nobody really fishing this area right now, we're blazing fresh trails every time we go up and down. And this is what Chris drug me through to get in here. Now I gotta figure out getting back up it to get out. Now I ain't no pansy, city slicking sissy boy, but as this gets slippier and steeper and sketchier, <laughs> sketchier, 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 I don't know. Sketchy er e sketchier. -y. I don't know, all those might be words. Oh. Oh. Look at <laughs> look at how many ferns there are. It's just an endless giant wall of ferns. They keep going. Chris! How do I get out of here? I let gravity get me down. I'm trying to fall back up, but it's not working. There's this tree that we got to share with you guys. It's so cool. It's like 10 trees in one or something. Insane. So yeah, check this thing out right here. Look at how badass this tree is. Yeah, look at how wild, wild this tree actually is. Look, it's all, all of these trees right here are actually one tree coming up out of the bottom and it like shoots out off to the side this way it shoots out all off big that way look it's got like an arm like it's got like a weird support arm to hold this branch up otherwise this branch would just fall off and snap like look at look at this weird arm so sticking crazy. down off of this weird weird big branch Dude. like for real it's a it's a monster Anyways, you guys, I thought that that tree was pretty cool. Like, what a, what a badass monstrosity of a tree. Might be one of the last pockets. I definitely caught some fish in here, though. More steelhead than salmon, but yeah, it is like a nice little bull. Right where the drift boat's put in. Oh, 
Oh yeah, smashed it. You say, well, you guys, we're starting to get hungry. And this is going to be one of our last spots. Just spinning like a coho. But I imagined that we would catch a fish here, and bam, Chris is on. Another miniature. It's a good looking hole. God, that's the second one that can't come in looking backwards. It's so twisted. There we go. Get some aerial. Get some action. Do some things. But normal coho just uh, wrapping itself up. That was on the Michael Jackson orange again. Another buck. It might run again. I should probably just let him. You're not going to go? Oh. There we go. Get out of that dirty water. Try to bring him down here a little bit. Little Michael Jackson with the orange tip. Let's get him out of the sand. Nice little buck, but he's got a little sand on him. I'm gonna get him back so he's not too pissed off. Boom, later buddy. He was out of there. He was pissed. Well, you guys, I think that that's going to be the end of today's salmon fishing adventure. Um, we might go find another spot to throw some lines for a second, and if we catch a fish, we'll just filter them into the day earlier. You won't even know we didn't catch them <laughs> earlier today, you know? Um, so this will probably be the end of what you see from us. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode as much as we enjoyed catching all of those cohos. So many bucks, so many fire trucks. Uh, super, super fun. So many hoes. So many hoes. No head. No head, no nook. Sorry, next oh, time. Oh man. It's early. It's early. It's early in the season. So we're going to go get some food. Um, the day's starting to get a little bit later on us. It's still pretty early though. It's only like noonish, one or something like that. We got time to like fish somewhere else. But yeah, time to go do a little fishing somewhere else. So we're going to go get our uh, lives together and then we're definitely going to sit on stripers later tonight. So I imagine you'll see this episode first and then you'll see us sit on stripers. But you might see us sit on stripers and then this. And then you just have to figure out which episode which of stripers came before or after which episode Ooh. of salmon fishing. So Because we got um, stripers racked up. We got stripers racked up and we have salmon racked up. I got a salmon <laughs> episode from the other day already. Oh, yeah. So see you guys next time. See you guys next time. You're watching the bite. <laughs>